It looks pretty good for 60. Oh, God. We're still in 1959. Must have been some party last night. Last night? This place hasn't been open for weeks. Ricky and his rockets have been doing their thing ever since you guys left last month. Last what? We've been gone for a month. Okay, Rachel drove for a month? Well, it's definitely my turn next. Ricky says there's only room for one diner in this town and it's not ours. My dad's had enough and he's thinking about selling out to Ricky's dad. Was that Dicky? He ran off with Nicky. Don't start that again. No, Chuck, you can't let Ricky win. Hannah's right. I mean, where is Ricky anyway? There's this big gang jalopy race tomorrow, so he's probably at the garage getting his car fixed up. Okay, I think it's about time we lay on the line with Ricky. We've got to let him know that just because he's the leader of a gang of vicious psychopaths, it doesn't mean he can go around ruining everyone's lives. Hey! Ricky! I'm bored! Then get a hobby. Hey, any time this decade, Snake, Five minutes, Daddy-o. Hang loose, dude. Oh, great. The kooks are back. Hi, kooks. Hey, Cheryl. Brad, put your feet on, Pooz. Hey, this is Rocket Turf Cat. There ain't no welcome mat out here for you. And there ain't no welcome mat for you at the Big Cup Diner either, Caddy-o. Yes, yeah, so what gives you the right to put it out of business? Hey, Clyde, butt out! It's none of your beeswax what me and the boys do for kicks. Kicks? Your kick's gonna put the Big Cup out of business, and who benefits most if it goes under? Your dad. Yeah. Do you always do everything Daddy-o tells you? Daddy's boy, Daddy's boy, Ricky's... On the other hand, it's so refreshing to find a modern teen who respects his parents. Call your jets, Ricky. Do you have to break everything I like? Hey, don't bug me, dude. My pop's got nothing to do with the rockets. See, we do what we want to do, man. We shoot the breeze. And when we shoot it, it stays shot. Yeah. yeah. Well, we think that you should stop hassling Chuck and his dad. Oh, oh do you? Well, who's going to make me, huh? Good question. <laughs> We are. Hey, man, she fixed it. By the way, your big end's on the blink. Whatever you say. And, and, and just how are you gonna stop me from ragging on Mr. Squaresville? And he's Squaresville's son, huh? How fast is this car? Oh, it's the fastest in the Tri-County area. You wanna bet? Yeah, any time, kooky. All right, well, we'll enter our car in the race tomorrow, and if our Chevy beats this spare parts convention that you call an automobile, then you stop hassling the Big Cup Diner, right? Okay. Okay, but if I win... Well, then you get our car. What? And Dad'll sell the Big Cup Diner. You've got my word. Oh, no. That's not enough, Daddy-o. Here's the deal. If I win, I get all of that. Plus, I get a date with Nickel Navel. Now, hold on a minute. Nobody deal. said it. What are you doing? I'm just drawing up a contract to make sure Chuck and Ricky stick by the result of the race. Are based on the music contracts that we had to sign. Alright. <laughs> Is that why there's a clause insisting that the cars are entitled to 15% of all royalties if they write their own songs? Yes. Cheer up. May never happen. Has happened. Except I didn't have the nerve to tell my dad that his whole future lies in the hands of a Chevy full of English kids he just met. Don't worry, Rachel will win. But it's not her fight. I should have done more. I should have stood up to Ricky or... <sighs> you ever had one of those days where you wish you'd never been born? I haven't been. I don't think it's fair that Rachel drives in the race. It's my turn. Oh, be serious. I am serious. I'm a good driver. I obey road signals. I use my mirror. I drive with due care and attention for other road users. You're right, Rachel should drive. You can navigate. Navigate? Teen, it's a big double donut. How are you supposed to get lost? <laughs> Easy. We're letting you navigate. Look, 
There's a sheriff. Oh, no. What if he stops the race? Not likely. He's on their side. Okay, Ricky signed the contract, but um, just in case he wins, I need the ownership papers for the Chevy. Oh, they're probably in this pile of old parts. They fell out of the glove compartment. Oh, my God. What is it? Local boy killed in Chevy race horror. Tragic feud yesterday cost the life of Townsville Chuck Martindale, 18. It's day of tomorrow. But it doesn't make sense. Chuck's not even driving our car. Guys, what's Chuck doing driving our car? Chuck? Chuck? You here, son? Hmm. Oh my god. Yeah, is this Ricky's dad, Dickie? This is Chuck's dad, Hank. Yeah, I know, I haven't talked to you for 25 years, but this is an emergency. Chuck, you can't drive in this race. Hannah, this is my fight. It is my dad's down that's at stake, and it is not fair for Rachel to risk getting hurt Rachel's fighting... Rachel's not risking. You are. Look. But how? We're... We're, we're time lords from the future. And we've been sent here to save you because... Because you go on to do great things. But I don't understand... Chuck, if you don't let Rachel drive in the race, you'll get upset. And believe me, you do not want her to get upset. I'm getting upset. Be upset. Are you ready to rumble? Bradley is. He had extra pepperoni on his pizza last night. Every second. 